Good movie costumes can help transport you to a time and place. Great costumes can get that movie nos nominated for an Oscar. Eyewitness News reporter Adrian Alpert checked out an exhibit of Oscar nominated designs that opens to the public tomorrow. Wakanda is Black Panther's fictional world. The movie's costumes help the actors create that world. They are in the exhibit, The Art of Motion Picture Costume Design, at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising Museum. An annual event opening just before the Oscars, the five films nominated for Best Costume Design among the 25 movies on display. Ruth Carter is nominated for Black Panther. The veteran designer says the superhero fantasy was not easy. We had more meetings about the look of Wakanda than I have had on any of my films, probably all of them combined. But it was necessary because it was an imagined world. It had never been seen before. Alexandra Byrne is nominated for Mary Queen of Scots. All of this year's nominees are women. Sandy Powell is nominated twice, once for The Favorite and the other. Mary Poppins! Mary Poppins returns, where some of the costumes are painted to appear two-dimensional. I'm Buster, Buster Scruggs. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs is a period piece with a very deliberate nod to a more modern cowboy era. Oscar nominee Mary Zofries says actor Tim Blake Nelson liked the look. Even though he was supposed to be from this, the Old West, he was a little bit, had the flavorings of the 1940s and 50s singing cowboy. And when he put his costume on, I think, I think he felt like he could sing. Zofries also did the costumes for First Man, and that's a costume, not Neil Armstrong's actual spacesuit. Whether they are real or fantasy, FIDM expert Nick Varios explains costumes complete the character. A lot of times the actors say when they go into the fittings, that's the final, kind of the last step. That's when they really go into character, when they really become who that person is. The free public exhibit will be open through April 12th. The costumes are the stars of this exhibition, and this year they get their own red carpet, just like the stars do when they arrive at the Oscars. Reporting from FIDM, downtown Los Angeles, Adrian Albert, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And remember, ABC7 is your home for the Oscars. We'll have you covered on Sunday, February 24th, with the red carpet arrivals, the big awards show, and all the Oscars after parties.